Hello and welcome. It is so wonderful to have you in one of the programs here. And this is the foundation for your own university and for any of the programs that you'll be studying with me. So I'm really excited that you're here. Um, as you walk through this and learn about your six personal power zones, know that in each of these zones, you have your own perfection. You are unique. You are special. And it's going to be very easy for you to take care of each of these zones each and every day to create more peace and harmony, wealth and joy in your life right now. Miracles happen as you walk through these. I'm going to share my screen with you and uh, just we're going to walk through them. I'm going to introduce you to them and then we will um, we'll move on from there in whatever program that you're in with me here. So let's get started. All right. I am going to just open this up. Let's see, is it doing it? There we go. There we go. Yay. So we are going to um, really talk about being completely you today and what that means. We're going to go over your six personal power zones. And you're going to master your zones, little bits and pieces to master your zones today. And we're going to do a practice that I call my callback practice. For my private clients, this is one of the biggest game changers in really reclaiming their power. So we're going to start there and uh, move on, move on from there. My intention with you today is to bring back the pieces of your life. Oftentimes we jump from one zone to another zone to another zone, back and forth and all around, trying to finally find that peace or not have drama. And the cycle repeats and repeats and repeats. So say that you get really healthy in your body and you get really toned and firm, but depression sets in and it causes you to focus on your mind or on your emotional state. And we'll talk more about how these things really cycle in your life. And what I found when you pay attention to each of these zones and give them attention in your own life, really own your power in them, you, you gain freedom and the cycle ends. <laughs> I am living proof of it and I've watched hundreds of people walk through this awareness and into their power again. So it is my intention to share with you in a very clear and easy to understand way just how powerful you are to awaken a deep understanding between you and your truth and share with you how you can call back your power each and every day in your six main power zones. These zones are really your reality in life. So um, you have more balance and more control and more connection and more abundance in your life from your health to your actual prosperity. So we're gonna spend the next 20 to 30 minutes um, going deep into here and then you know I really encourage you to dive into whatever program that you're in, whether we're doing personal coaching or you're in the You Matter community at your own university or um, you're taking one of the challenges here. I really am excited for you to be here and excited for you to reclaim all of your power. Now, I realize that you might have been in my community for a long time. You might be brand new to me. So who is this woman talking to you? Just for a second, my name is Antika Lisha, and I am the CEO and founder of Your Own University, a best-selling author from Bondage to Happiness, and an advocate to end the cycle of abuse starting with the self. And so... I'm going to share with you everything that I've learned over the last 30 years through my own life and the last 20 years through my education in each of these zones. Because as my zone in this area broke down, I literally went to school <laughs> for it and, and mastered it for myself. And it's a continuous process as we grow in our lives to 
to need to look at these, to pay attention to these zones, to nurture these zones. And when you do, um, the big things tend not to happen so much and life becomes more of an even keel and you also gain more enjoyment, more peace, more fulfillment in each every area of your life. People, you know, their marriages have been saved, just shifting this focus. I have clients who got the raise and the promotion, people who have released weight without trying, uh, magical and miraculous things have healed in the body, and opportunities have opened up for my clients like um, that they've been dreaming of for their lifetime, including traveling around the world, speaking on stages, stuff like this, all from starting to pay attention to the whole of them rather than just pieces at a time and really reclaiming their power and then going after the solution. So we'll talk more and more about that as we go through this section. All right, next. <laughs> your six power zones. So your first zone of power is your body. As a baby, you notice that you might, like babies notice their hands, their physicality first. So you're going to notice this physicality in yourself. Now the trick here is your body is unique. How you need to nurture your body and the levels of care in your body, which we go through deeper in the Amazing You program and uh, in private coaching. But in these levels, you are going to master each one. So you're going to master how to eat and nourish yourself. You're going to master how to move that works for you. You're going to master how much time that you need in your schedule and your sleep schedule and all these different levels and all these different things that are within your zone. Oops, family safety here going on. So um, this is your relationship with your body. It is very unique. We all have a different nutritional diet that we need. We all have a different level of exercise that we need and different level of sleep. Those are great places to look at. The two tips I have for you today is to drink plenty of water. I have these great big huge cups right and fill, fill them with water each day, at least 80 ounces of water. I would say for any adult at least. And then um, also go out and get some pH strips and get your body into an alkaline state. This is going to relieve disease in your body and help you to move better and feel better. And how you get your body in an alkaline state is to eat a lot of alkaline producing foods like fruits and vegetables. All right, let's move on. Your next zone of genius is your miracle mind or your mind. So our mindset really um, proclaim our relationship with the world and, and how we're relating to our lives and what's around our life. So how you perceive your life and your relationship with your mind also can bring you down the tunnel of depression or lift you up into the skies of fulfillment and enlightenment. So how do you talk to yourself? Do you talk to yourself as your best friend? If so, you're on the right track. You want to learn how to master your mind, and then there's the different levels of the mind, the thoughts, the stories, your subconscious, your unconscious, and how do you get all of that to work for you towards whatever desire that you want in life so you start calling into your life what you require and what you desire, starting with your thoughts and your words. So mind is really, really powerful. I love to use a mantra as you go through one of the challenges. You'll find some, but just, you know, really knowing and proclaiming to yourself that you are enough is going to change your life. The next is your vibe. So your vibe is your emotional state, how you relate to your emotions. It's also how you feel. And it's also that essence that you give out that other people feel like, oh, I just, I really dig your vibe, right? So how do you manage your own vibration? I love to stick on music, really cool music, uplifting music, and dance around and sing around. That's something that really lifts my vibration. Also studying and being around people that inspire you and fill you up. This is why the community at your own university is so important because you're surrounded by people that are really dedicated to living their highest vibration in life. This is also about being really comfortable with however you're feeling. And that means those icky feelings as well as those really great feelings. We're gonna talk more about all of that in 
um, the challenges, and of course, in private training. The next is your soul. Your soul is one with everything. It's connected to all. It's that part of you that's going to live on no, no matter what. It goes someplace. We all might have different beliefs, but we have this everlasting life within us. Your soul stays alive if your body gets in a wreck or you get sick and your soul is still living. If your mind goes, the soul is still living. If you you know, lose touch with your feeling and your sensation, your soul is still living. Okay, so your soul is that part of you that will lead you forward. And we're going to um, really reclaim pieces of your soul today as we do the power back practice. So I'm really excited about that. Go deep into um, your soul really leading your vibe, your mind, and your body so you have more trust and you're following your heart so things become more easily attained in your life. The next zone is your purpose. Now here at your own university and in, in my courses, I believe your purpose is being you. Now figuring out how you can do you to the highest and best of your ability is going to set you apart from anybody else. There's no more competition when you're being you. There's no new news in the world. There's no new information, really. Everything has been thought about before, written about before. We can find it. We can dictate it. However, how you express yourself in the world, how you express your knowledge and your wisdom, how you express your insights are, are new, right? It's new to you and new to the world and who you share it with. And so leaning into your talents, leaning into what fills you up, Leaning into where your soul, where your heart leads you is going to help you to live your purpose and feel that fulfillment that happens when you're saying, yes, I'm on the right track. So we're going to help you get to that place of expressing and loving you, which I believe is your purpose. And the last is your relations. So this is all your relationships at your own university and especially coaching with me. We talk about your relationship with you, the different roles that you play, um, your core values, your morals, how you want to be experienced in the legacy that you want to leave in the world with what you're doing. So this is really a beautiful place to start and just expressing who do you want to be, how do you want to feel, and we'll go through that within the challenge and definitely in the Amazing You program. And absolutely, as you walk through, you matter. This also relates to who do you want to be in relationship with others. So at work, in your love life, in your relationships with your children, your parents, your family, your friends, you know, the whole gamut. And how they perceive you. This is just, it's a really powerful zone. It's, it's your sensuality, your sexuality. It's, um, it's a really powerful zone. I love diving deep into the relationship zone. All right. So next we are going to really do this practice. I call it the callback practice. It is part of my heart healing practice, my um, technique that I do for trauma therapy. And it's something that is going to give you a lot of energy at night and let go of a lot of energy, a lot of extra baggage that you might be carrying around. It takes about three minutes. So we're gonna go deep into it. It's gonna be fast and you're just gonna feel it and don't um, worry about anything else. Go ahead and close your eyes. Take a nice deep breath. Just feel your body. Take a nice deep breath and place your mind in visualizing, seeing or feeling or sensing a light above you, or heaven. And there in that light, there's a liquid waterfall of love. And you can see the word love watering down upon you into your head. And as you do, you start to feel love in your mind. It's just depositing love in your mind, down through your eyes and your ears and your throat, down through your shoulders, down through your heart, down through your belly, down through your hips, down through your legs. And this love is connecting to the earth, all the way down to the center of the earth where divine health is. You connect with this divine health and it might be a color, you might just feel health, you might see the words, I am healthy. And it joins with this love, love and health. And they come back up 
And you're seeing it like an elevator coming back up into your body, depositing into every cell of your being, this love and this health. So you're connected from above and you're connected from below. You can do this any place, at any time, eyes open, eyes closed, just to feel connected to your core center. Now from here, feel your heart. Just bring your awareness, your attention, your mind, and your feeling into your heart center, feeling your heart, chest cavity. And there's a big magnet in your heart. And all through time, as a sentient being, you're, you can feel other people's emotions and feel other people's things, and you take on their burdens, try to solve their problems, and you ask people to solve your problems, and they might have taken on your problems for their own. Now, the trick here is we honestly only can solve and heal our own burdens. So all the power that you've given away to doctors, to courses, to me, to teachers, to your parents, to your husband, to your wife, to your kids, putting a problem that is really yours to solve, putting a solution that you're still seeking onto them, even onto God. I want you to call back all of your power right now, and it's just going to stream back to you, and it's going to go through this liquid love, through this divine health, so nothing will touch you that's not healthy and for your highest good. You're just going to fill up on all of your power, calling it back from all the past, from all eternity, and then shifting your focus to the future, any future power that you've given away, maybe to your banker, your accountant, wherever, go ahead and call that power back, back to you. Now this is giving them a blessing too because now they have room in their life to heal their own stuff, to focus on their own stuff. Now any burdens that you have taken on from others, I want you to send back to them. Go ahead and send back to them so they can solve their problems. And you can send it with the wisdom that you have around it with the love and the wisdom that you have around it, just send it back to them completely and totally with love and light, knowing that they are fully powerful just like you are to really graduate and walk through their own life lessons to be more fulfilled in their lives. And whenever you're ready, go ahead and take a deep breath, just owning your power and open your eyes. Just be still for a moment, knowing that you are complete, you are whole, you are unique, you are complex, you are simply you, you are truly amazingly you. And that's your purpose here. So I really want to love you and for you to know that you are not alone. So you are invited to get two weeks free in the You Matter community at Your Own University. So if you go to yourownuniversity.com, you can sign up for daily love from each of your six personal power zones where you get tips and tools and also just inspiration to continue building and loving and trusting yourself and everything that matters in your life. Because as you love you, you really get to share your matter, your world, your purpose with everybody around you. And then I also want to invite you, if you're ready, to step into this in a deep personal level, to really break through barriers, to have a next step call with me. You can go to AntiqueAlicia.com and schedule your next step session. You are divine and wonderful. Love you. Bye.